<laughs> Robin. You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. All right, listen, we got Ricky Gervais in the studio, but <laughs> Ricky, before you talk, we were told we have to give you an intro. Who am I? This is uh, right, so what are your people? No, what no, are my people? No, no, I haven't got any people. You got so people. I know you're no, dying. You got people. They right. said well, you have to introduce uh, Ricky Gervais in a certain way. So we're going to do that for you. Sir. I think there was something that had to be read. A yes. certain thing that w- that needed to be read, which yes. we have here in uh, red. Yes. What? That's what they said. We have to introduce you as. So we, <laughs> Ricky, wants to be introduced this way. <laughs> yes. So this is how we. we <laughs> but came we up figured, yeah. Why? Why just, why just read, read it? it when when we could do it uh, proper? I don't believe any of this. I swear to God. Go on. Go on. <laughs> he is the creator of the office and extras. <laughs> He's just wrapped up the lead in the new Muppets movie. <laughs> it's all true so far. <laughs> And his award-winning show, Derek, comes exclusively to Netflix this summer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Ricky Gervais. Wow. That's amazing. That is a good intro. I, w- I want that on everything I do. <laughs> it should be. I just hand that to Letterman. That's, that, that's, that's perfect. And you're the epic. first one. We've Thank never you. done that before. Thank you very much, well, we, guys. Yeah. Cheers. We almost Brilliant. did it for Louis C.K. once. Almost, but no. You're the first. <laughs> well, of course, we um, didn't do it for Tom Sizemore. <laughs> no. Now, what did I miss? That, oh, wow. Well, I, I, we have to talk about it. it yeah, was, of course. It, Jimmy, Ricky, do you know Tom Sizemore? Uh, it was, yeah, so. Natural yeah. Born Killers. Same yeah. Private Ryan. Same right. Private Ryan. Very I don't know him personally, but yeah, I know, I know of him, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, yeah, it was a little weird. I mean, he's he's promoting his book, and uh, Jimmy. I mean, Jimmy was his best friend in this room because Jimmy read eighty five percent of the book. Yes, I've read a couple stories. I, I I know it's a great book and all that, but Jimmy was all in and excited, and well, this was more than me willing as well, to promote and help yes. him out. Jimmy's not only sort of lost weight and he's sort of cleaned up his act. He's sort of quite sensible and everything. <laughs> I think he's become a Buddhist because <laughs> you know he, 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 it's creepy, he, right? He say he was insulted, but he didn't jump in. He didn't say anything back this is worrying me what what's happened i to commented you? to him but i, I didn't want to be it, he was he didn't do anything that deserved me to be an overly confrontational asshole so i didn't want to i didn't want to overblow what was just a, an irritating moment for me i was like all right fuck yeah him. you were irritated but i do like him and, he, and, and honestly the book is great i can't shit on the book because the, i loved what he wrote i uh, like a douche a whole bunch of questions oh, I'll oh ask this Tom is the Ned. jimmy i want this is the jimmy i want <laughs> <laughs> this is it well done well, a full <laughs> Yeah, right. I'd wonder he, he's he, going to AA or something. The way he, <laughs> right. he, but, but Sizemore was a little wordy and he was wandering around a little bit. So Jimmy was kind of just trying to help him but to, I, to a spot. And uh, Tom thought he was interrupting him. Here's what he was talking well. about De Niro. And there's a big thing in the book where De Niro helps and... and you know, because De Niro is this mythical figure to all of us. I know you love him, and, and De Niro it was took part in intervention for Tom Sizemore. Like right. he cared about him and, and got into this intervention, which was a really nice thing to hear yeah. about one of his idols. So he's talking about how he was nice. He got to work with De Niro, and I just threw it. I'm like, eh, and and the intervention, like just hoping that he would kind of go in that direction. Um, and he said, I, "Shut up, you fucking asshole, Jim." Yes, but not quite that honestly. <laughs> he said, uh, he, "He goes, uh, well, you know, he goes, well, don't interrupt me." He goes, "Let me finish, uh, you know, don't Howard me. Howard interrupts me." And, uh, and I was like, "Okay, that's it for me." I'm and, finished. Oh, wow. and he knew I was irritated. And I said, "Yeah, I'm irritated." Oh, he knew you're ir- irritated. Yeah, wow. yeah. You're irritated. This is how you know I was irritated. I love Tom Sizemore, and I didn't ask him to sign my photo together. Wow. That's how you know I was. You irritated. have no idea, wow. Ricky. He wow. has to have everything signed. Do so you not want to look at it? No, it's just you know, in, happy, in happier Rip days. It up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to hold it up. Jimmy can remember. Oh, wow. Can we put Tom Sizemore's face on Ricky Gervais? That could be fun. I know. Ricky's, you can relive this. Ricky's been consistently great. Just yes. one of my favorite I didn't think Rick, people. I didn't think Ricky was going to come back. I, I was explaining outside the studio. Uh, last time you were here, me and Ann just bailed on you. 
Yeah. We oh, just we left, yeah, but we yeah, really yeah. had it go. I like and and I was thinking I like, of my... I quite like the casual nature of this show. <laughs> just... like, I, I have to check that we're on air when I walk in. <laughs> you did, yeah. There's people yeah. swearing and... Yeah, you know, we don't really but, pay but, much attention to um, but we really, the show. We really had it go that day, and I'm like, but he's never coming back. Storm. I think you had some trouble with your house or something. Yeah, yeah. Was that just a lie? I You've stayed until like 10.30, I think, or something. Oh, yeah, after... we jumped right out. I had to pick up my kid, and I'm like, he's not coming back. We can't insult him like this. But it does happen. What, how did you and Juliet Lewis hook up? Also, I'm just asking questions that I had for Tom. It's <laughs> 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 all, all typed out. Oh, oh, nice. I was I ready to and, go? Uh, this is gonna be a home run, guys. Here it is. Uh, Hold on. Can I? Can I? Can I do this? Because I noticed this was going on. I'll. I'll be Tom Sizemore. You ask the questions you would have asked Tom. Go ahead. Give me um, one. So uh, I didn't realize you almost got Buscemi's part in Reservoir Dogs. I never almost got that. I didn't think you did. Sorry, why would I mention <laughs> that? I'm about such an asshole. He got that part. <laughs> you said in your book that Edie Falco was a better fuck when she was drunk. Is that true? I never said that. I why didn't would mean I, to paraphrase that. I why would I have I made that up? <laughs> I, I would never You've say that about so somebody. You've done so much work. Yeah, I know. Why you prepped? This is the, I, I don't want this to be like a lesson learned, that he goes straight back to living in a in a, 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 a oh. bin and, and yes. drinking meth. So, <laughs> I, I don't want it to have been hurt by this experience. Well, ask for the Ricky Gervais page. The, where, where's Ricky's question? Ricky, I don't have any questions because Ricky is such a fun guy to chat with. All I wanted to do is talk about how fucking uh, I love the return of uh, uh, of David Brent yes. and, and yeah. the music video. Oh, that was fun. That it was, was music marvelous. Video, yeah. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah. What yeah, a yeah, wonderful yeah. music video that Absolutely. was. Absolutely. <laughs> Equality Street. <laughs> Equality Street. <laughs> David, <laughs> David <laughs> Brent trying to change the world one street at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just trying to end racism and homophobia in a reggae song. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Really, the fuck with the yeah. button suit jacket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cringeworthy. Oh, it's so much fun playing because you can't be wrong. You just do anything, and it's good. Right, it's right. It's meant to be bad. So, Why yeah. do you think people are so attached to that character? Um, because uh, everyone either sees themselves in it and goes, "Oh, it's not so bad." Other people <laughs> like me, or they're laughing at him, going, "Oh, thank God, I'm not like that." <laughs> You're not so, that guy. So, yeah, uh, yeah. But we're all a bit like David Brent. Aren't oh, we? absolutely. It's tapped yeah. in, particularly men. You know, men as boys, we never grow up. We all want respect. We always worry what people think of us. So, um, yeah, I think we're all a little bit, you know, insecure. Yeah. So I think that's why. And yeah. he's funny as well. He he's a funny. I, I never thought of him as a bad person or a bad boss. I'd love him as a boss. You could yeah. be so the greatest boss. It'd be great. You'd get around him. You could do anything you wanted. <laughs> right. As long as you said, uh, David, you're great at squash, aren't you? We should have a game. You go, yep. He'd turn up with his squash kit. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, have, you'd have an hour of yes. work. You, yeah, you'd Just get... give him a little, like, uh, boost about exactly. what he, that he thinks. I used to do that with teachers at school. Funny. Oh, it, God. It's, yeah. A teacher, mm -hmm. you go, sir, what motorbike have you got? He'd go with a Honda um, for, And you'd, you'd have a whole conversation. Sure, about, yeah. Because he found his passion. So you'd, you'd get away with doing work. So well, I think the guys like that are quite transparent. Uh, yeah. They just want to be one of the gang. Yeah. They, they just want to, they, you know, they want to hang out with you. They want to be your mate. <laughs> and what, but what makes it such a masterpiece is the fact that it's not forced awkwardness. There's a lot of phony forced awkwardness now on TV, you know, and it's just crap. But it, with, 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 when you did David, you would take it to the uncomfortable moment. And then when everybody was like, whew, you wouldn't let them off the hook. You'd wait the extra beat. We're like, oh, God, that's right. Because, it's because David. <laughs> was trying to entertain you. He yes, wasn't a nasty yeah. person, so he was trying to. He, wa mm. he wanted to show the world what he had to offer. So he's sort of a nice guy deep down. Right. And also with the with the music video, it's not mm. that they're comedy songs. It's a, a, right. a middle aged man shouldn't be doing them. No, <laughs> they're not terrible. Yeah. They're not bad. No, it's just inappropriate. He shouldn't. He, so, he shouldn't be doing it in the office. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, even if he was as good as Bruce Springsteen, That's he shouldn't terrible. be doing Bruce Springsteen. No. He shouldn't be doing his accounts. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but he also in a music video when someone I says equality, it. he shouldn't be pointing at him. Himself and mm. the other guy, like mm. it's just such an obvious well, he, thing. Yeah, exactly. He can't in in the thing, you know. He can't believe he's got a black friend. Yeah. <laughs> he introduced him. He said, uh, "This is this is Dom, my black friend." You know? <laughs> <laughs> and Dom goes, "Just just friend, yeah. 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 just friend." Yeah. <laughs> he's never got over yeah, difference. Yeah. Right, he's never right. got really. He's that guy who thinks that if he talks about um, equality and all that. He, he is it, you know, but he's <laughs> yeah. never really got over, mm. you know, the, the, the you know the one black guy in the office, right, the girl in the wheelchair, the, right, you know, right. any sort of difference, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like that. Wow, I, I, I absolutely love the character. Love it. Yeah, but I also love the other stuff you do. I mean, like oh, you know, yeah. you, you you really have this amazing way of being, kind of just bringing whoever you are into every movie you do, and that sounds easy to do, but it's not easy yeah. to do. See, you could look at that as he's the least versatile actor. <laughs> 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 no, I agree with you. What, 
why, why not yourself? Why, you know, if you, if you put on wigs and funny teeth, you're in makeup for two hours. <laughs> I learned that. So, no, I, I always do this hair, this <laughs> face, <laughs> this voice. They're lucky if I learn the lines. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, one of the, the first things I ever learned with filming was that, um, uh, you know, if you're sitting down and there's a, there's a, uh, a bell goes, Right, and you and you get up to answer the door with all the different angles. That's a day's work of getting up and down. Yeah. So now I change that line to come in, and then, <laughs> and then I, and I, I, I can stay seated. <laughs> and then I'm sitting down for a whole day. First thing I look at is things like how long's the makeup? What's the? Oh, yeah. that's funny. Is, is there any running? <laughs> so I think I think you'd be sitting down in this. Seat. <laughs> There's a reason why David Brent was always sat behind his desk. <laughs> <laughs> made your day a lot easier. <laughs> exactly. And he's the lead in the new Muppet movie, but I think we got about a year before that actually Yeah, March comes of out. Uh, 2014. And I was yeah. telling them... Um, that was uh, great fun. Yeah, the first one was great with Jason Segel, and I've seen it probably 200 times because I got a kid... I think I'm going to see you in your in my fucking dreams and <laughs> nightmares. Well, I've, I, I watch a Muppet Christmas Carol every year, probably twice a year around Christmas, and yeah. I haven't got a kid. So well, oh, I, okay, yeah. I love that movie. I <laughs> no, I've been well, a fan for. Who are you playing years. in uh, the new movie? Um, I'm uh, I'm the villain. Nice. That's all I can say. I'm I'm a villain, and I have a an accomplice who's an evil frog, and we take nice. down the Muppets. It's a bit of a bit of a heist, so we have to. <laughs> Um, infiltrate the Muppets. Um, an evil frog. Yeah, an evil frog. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. I'm talking about it like it's like usual yeah, yeah. suspects or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you just changed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, uh, maybe it's, I'm taking it too seriously. Honestly, it was great fun. And I, uh, I, I discovered that the puppeteers are amazing. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're always on. You know, they're, they're actors and comedians themselves. And they, when, that, when that puppet goes on, it's, you, you don't see the human. That mm. puppet That's brings it to life, like and uh, I, I'm, what, sometimes I'm chatting to the the puppet character, <laughs> and right. I forget. And you see sort of extras sort of looking out the corner of their eye, thinking, <laughs> "This is weird. He's, he is talking <laughs> to a, a frog <laughs> or a pig." It's no, amazing. I, I, I that great it, yeah. It's a great film as well. It really is. I think people think that it's like a knockabout TV project, but. It, it was a two hundred million dollar movie that Jeez. last. Oh no, it's going to be huge! It, it, it's huge. The, the franchise is back, and the the production values are amazing. Yeah, absolutely. They built the Tower of London. <laughs> it was <laughs> unbelievable. It, it no, it's going to be great. Was it CGI as well as? as yeah, it? Every, I mean everything. Yeah, I mean they've got. A, uh, that's what takes the time. You know, they 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 take out all the sort of like the rods and the the stuff. Right. There's lots of teams of people dressed in blue making these puppets come to life sometimes but it's amazing yeah and i had to sing and dance right oh wow i'm an all right singer dancing <laughs> not awkward. so much awkward <laughs> really? it, it, you can i think you can see how uncomfortable i am in some shots mm. but, you know, but luckily i was meant to be uncomfortable i think you dance well you've mixed a little bit of flash dance with some mc hammer shit. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's right that's right yeah lower lip i've still got the moves yeah <laughs> now now uh you filmed the movie already now you gotta wait a year is that frustrating at all no being a I creative mean, person don't you want it, people no Sorry. it's sort of not my are you interrupting me? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was. <laughs> I was. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to take it differently than Jimmy. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Awkward. No, I think you just sort of like, I'm very excited about it, but you sort of put out your mind because it's, there's, you know, there's, there's now a team of 50 people take over, right. you know? And, and as much as I loved it and it was, you know, they, they say it was designed for me you never you never know um <laughs> but it was very me i read it and i thought oh my god this was written for me and they and they said yeah it was mm. <laughs> well, i don't know but that's very nice for them to say so um it's not my baby you know i'm not uh, like the other stuff i've done right, you right. Know, oh, it's you. Like, yeah. i have it a year before we film it and a year after and mm -hmm. you know um so uh I, I feel that um this is this is one of the first times it's the biggest movie that i've been a lead in that wasn't my baby if you know right. what i mean gotcha. um so i've just got to sort of let it go and hope it's great and i i i don't know why it wouldn't be mm. every day was funny yeah you know the script was funny the it, I, I, i've never grown out of talking frogs and prawns <laughs> i've never grown out of that. I, I never will i never will i don't know what age i have to be where a a, a, a spanish prawn isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm looking. I'm really looking forward. To awesome. it. But it's weird to give up the control, right? Because if it's your project and you and you have a hand in it, you, you certainly have a certain say over it. But once it's somebody else's work, once you do it, you just have to trust You're it. Like, oh, I hope they don't fuck it up. But I do that so. 
I, I, I don't, you know, things I do like that are so few and far between. But that's nice as well. It's nice to walk away. You know, I think mm. you have to be, um, 100% involved or not at all. I, I think it's that middle ground that stitches you up. Right. Where you have to, you know, have your credit and it wasn't you or, you know, or, or vice versa. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I quite like this. Once you've, you know, you know, you, it's a great team and you can trust them and they, they've got a proven record. The, the last one was great. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. You know, um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, and I was very flattered to be, I, I'm always, flattered that, that someone wants to work with me. Um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. You know, did, me? What? Really? what? We're leading them in a, <laughs> a Muppet movie? <laughs> I thought, you know, so, uh, yeah, it was great. You're very active on Twitter, too. I, I enjoy you on Twitter oh, because yeah. you, it's nice to see such a, a large celebrity who isn't afraid of being confrontational or stating opinions. Or It's just nice to see because so many guys back away from stating a real opinion, and you seem to really enjoy it. Uh, well, you I think? do. I mean, yeah. I, I've never, <laughs> again, I've never grown out of that. You know, you, you sometimes want to be above it, you say, oh, let it go, it's an idiot. And then you think, you know what? Let's see what happens when I answer that. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I go, what? You know. Um, yeah, and, uh, yeah. uh, but it, it, I do it, I did it, you know, uh, partly as a an experiment. Like, you know, everything you do is a bit of an experiment. You know, you do the podcast, you never know whether they're going to work or anything. Um, and, a, and a marketing tool. You know, you want to get up, it's, it's, it's part of the... The media, sure. really, you know, yeah. four and a half million followers is is bigger than some newspapers. So you want to go, you know, buy this or mm. no, I didn't say that. You want to sort of, you know, uh, uh, have your own story. But then I got, then I realised how much fun it was <laughs> and uh, how many lunatics were on there, yeah. right. crazy people that are fun. And also, you know, I follow philosophers and neuroscientists, and, <laughs> and they're great as well. But um, I do like some of the people they don't know what they're saying. You know, uh, 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 one. Well, someone sent me, um, uh, I think I told you this last time, that um, uh, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, so shut up about your atheism. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't see. Don't you see that? When you, as yeah. a joke, that's brilliant. Yeah. But as a yeah. serious comment, it's tragic. There was one guy on there, so about, um, uh, about Jesus, and I said um, uh, something about Jesus being Jewish and that. Some, some <laughs> creationist said, Jesus was not Jewish, he was Christian. <laughs> <laughs> was he? He was Christian, was he? He <laughs> himself. Hey, Jesus. He yeah. named after himself. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. like Luke Gehrig's disease and getting Luke Gehrig's disease. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, yeah. it is fun. It is fun to see, uh, <laughs> it, to, to, to just put it out there and agitate. So, uh, yeah. Did yeah. anybody but, retweet your, um, what was it, 10,000 pounds you were offering? If oh, nobody that was unbelievable. retweeted. Just, that was again, great. I'm, just, I'm just bored. You know, I, I do a lot of driving from place to place and you're never alone with Twitter. You go on and yeah, think, like, yeah. what's going on, you know? True. Um, and I said, uh, uh, someone had said, could you, uh, could you tweet something so offensive that no one retweeted it? And I said, no, impossible, no. right? Just like I couldn't tweet anything that no one found offensive. Right. You know, there's, you know, and so I thought, I thought, and I said, if no one retweets this, I will give, uh, 10,000 uh, pounds to charity. 500 retweets, I mean. Because <laughs> uh, they want to get it out there that this is an issue that I go, right. I go, right, you don't understand. Let's try it. People are going, those fucking idiots, they're idiots, yeah. right? And so one person said, all your followers are idiots. <laughs> well, <laughs> if that's true. And then I said, uh, okay, let's try again. If no one retweets this or comments on it or replies, right, I don't know, 15,000. So, 500 retweets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's one amazing. last chance. Yeah. So, uh, yeah it is an amazing social hilarious. experiment. It's, though, it's yeah. an amazing social experiment. And as a, you know, a, a sort of observational comic, which I am vaguely, you, you know, I'd have to go to institutions to meet people. Like <laughs> yes. Maybe they so. knew what they were doing and they just hate charity. They're like, <laughs> oh, we don't yeah. want this money yeah. being given yeah. to charity. Well, I think it's some people can't resist, you know, there's too much, it, people want to blurb everything out there these days. Yes. It's, it's the equivalent of, it's graffiti. You know, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, t uh, Twitter is being able to look at every toilet wall in the world <laughs> and, right. and write that's something on it if you want. I mean, yeah. that's amazing. And delete it if you want. You yeah. know, it, it's just, it's, it's graffiti for, for everyone. I was saying as a, as a kid growing up, uh, the equivalent of Twitter was uh, the school desk. Because in like third period or fourth period, you'd sit there and be like, whoever sits here during fourth period sucks dick. Yeah. And then the next day, be like, fuck you. Asshole, I'm yeah. gonna kick your ass. Yeah. You couldn't kick, and you carry on a <laughs> silent yeah, yeah, day yeah. to day to day yeah, exactly. with somebody yeah, on your desk. Know. Yeah, now yeah. it's instant. But you know what? The content hasn't changed. No, of course it's it hasn't. Fuck you, asshole. But it's exactly the same as cavemen 
um, blowing woad <laughs> on their handprint. <laughs> right, you know, right. Uh, I was here. And that's yes. what fame is. That's I'm what people, here. People think fame is Look like, I was here. Mm. Right, was right. Well, you're here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you don't need to prove this to anyone. You are here. Yeah, yeah. But it seems, it's just an extension of that, you know, the Andy Warhol thing. That yes. On Twitter, everyone can be famous for fun. And, and if somebody, like, is the first to retweet you with yeah. whatever you tweeted, even if it's $15,000 or pounds to a, a charity, yeah. they want to be like, oh, look, I retweeted it first. And the Holy Grail is getting retweeted by yes. someone with a yes. lot of followers. If you, you retweet know. someone... And now, huge. people don't care. It's like, they don't care whether they're famous. Or, uh, uh, there's no difference between fame and infamy now. So, someone can say something really nasty and makes it look stupid, <laughs> and I can retweet it, and everyone can go, you idiot, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. They retweeted going, I just got retweeted by Ricky Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he made you look an idiot in front of the world. Why is that? Why are you happy why with that? that? Right. Why, why, is, why is fame better than dignity? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. They rarely go hand in hand, yeah, by the way. It's, it's like yeah. this easy, really? Yeah. 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 It's, it's a high five from somebody famous. Um, yes, um, it's acknowledgement. It's a high five from uh, from somebody who you admire. It's, is it not, it's a punch in the face. Uh, right, right, right. It's yes. a Yes, but you didn't yeah. like it when someone famous told you. You, 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 you didn't. You didn't go. Wow, I was insulted by someone I really liked. No, but I didn't you... care for it at all. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the look on Jimmy's face. Oh, wow. Man. I wish exactly. I had that on camera. He was out of it right then oh. and there. It was like, I started getting excited. This. I'm like, this is going to this is gonna be Jesse Ventura all over it. again. Would I have liked it or would I have felt awkward? It, it, I think would, you would have you felt like awkward. Car, yeah. You like car crashes? One more, yeah. seen them? Uh, One yeah. more altercation between them and it would have was, gotten very bad. Oh. But it was it was oh. right at the precipice where it was it still went either okay. Jimmy was annoyed. Uh, Sizemore knew he was annoyed. So if if he would have done something to Jimmy again, forget it. To annoy Jim, Jim would have like. There's no I've way you would control yourself. But I again, yes. I, I yes. No I, way. I'll tell you this, even though <laughs> no I was irritated. Way. The book is great, and I can't. I'm not going to shit on the product because I meant what I said. How good it yeah. was. Yeah. And I still think he's a genius actor. I mean, this, there's, a, there's a price my to pay. Is integrity. <laughs> <laughs> I really mean that. Are you sure you're not a Buddhist? Are you sure? <laughs> 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 I know. I'm just angrily ripping the book up and crying. <laughs> <while they talk. laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, it was. It, you it, showed it, self control. Because it was. You were ready to go. It would have been unreasonable to be overly rude because, again, he just said something in a moment. And whatever. That was his right. He didn't want to answer certain questions. And that, that was his, uh, his right. I don't have to like it. But I, saw, I can't be I dishonest. Saw, and I did see you starting to get annoyed even before that with his lack of candor. Well, yeah, but well, I think, I think it's questions. more from what I, I wasn't here. I think it was the injustice of it that you were actually trying to help him and you were such a fan. <laughs> yes. It, it, it's like. Um, I remember once my uh, sister, when I was a kid, uh, that she, she, the cat caught a mouse, and um, she stopped. She got the cat and she saved the mouse. She took the mouse out, and the mouse bit her. <laughs> and she went, "You little fucker!" <laughs> 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 Throw it. <laughs> His mouse had just been saved. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I bring it up all the time because there's so many examples of it, but the frog and the scorpion, you know, the exactly. scorpion jumps mm -hmm. on the frog's back. and yeah. Why'd you do that? You're killing us both. He's like, I'm a scorpion. Yeah. Well, but how would that would have worked that. out? You knew I was Tom when you plugged my book. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you should have known. <laughs> I was just trying to help the guy. I wasn't punching him in the dick. <laughs> it was just, yeah. But it was like, it's really that's weird. That's not bad, actually, because that's, that's 40 minutes before you brought up your dick. He has changed. I know, I'm getting to be a. I, mean, I am a little Buddhist, maybe. Right? Yeah. Right. I'm wearing lighter colors now. I'm feeling you are. It yeah. is strange to see you Philosophical. In You've never worn blue before. Not light blue, no. Hey, uh, getting back to the idiots on Twitter. When blue and Jimmy is in the same sentence. It's usually <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. spelling. It's usually a verb. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> when, when you said the idiots on Twitter, we got to mention Justin Bieber before we move on with that mm. whole Anne Frank thing. That was amazing, what? wasn't it? Unbelievable. I, mean, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe my luck. Yeah. So if I, <laughs> I, I mean, it, so he went to Anne Frank's house. And be fair, you know, he's a young kid. Right. And, you know, he went to Anne Frank's house and, he, and he, apparently he spent an hour looking around and he was fascinated. And that's great, okay? Mm. And then, and also he had to sign the, the guest book. Yeah. Now, you know what? That's pressure. You know, I, I get it from you know autograph hunters, and they say, "Can you say sure. something funny?" And you think, "Wow, I want to sit down and put some glasses on and go right funny," right. and I want to spend time on it. <laughs> yeah, right. you know? And so, you know, he's a kid; he's under pressure, and he writes, um, <laughs> "And Frank <laughs> sounds like a great girl." Like, yeah, which is I, hilarious I, enough. Right I, yeah, I know. Yeah, great girl. Yo, for Anne. Yo, Anne. Great girl. Shh, keep it down. 
Is that you, Justin? <laughs> Yo, Anne, it's Justin. Shush. Put it down. <laughs> right? So... So he writes, yeah, this is, Anne sounds like a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. <laughs> can you? I it's mean, just unbelievable. It's How so stupid crap. can you be? Yeah. What the and hell? And so I, I tweeted, yep. yeah, I'm, I'm sure Anne Frank would have been a believer. Um, he, he does music that is absolutely perfect for being, being played really, really quietly. <laughs> <laughs> so no one can hear it. But, yeah. And then I started doing things like, uh, yo, um, Joan of Arc, you were a great girl. Ho hopefully you were a Javathius. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? He's a kid. And, it, yeah, it, that's it, oh, uh, and everything's under scrutiny these days. Yep. Can you imagine mm. people finding the things you wrote on a school desk? Exactly. You know, when you were 19. Yeah. I, I don't know why you're hanging around Simon, <laughs> 19, yeah, but yeah. 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 Simon Pegg, Simon Pegg uh, tweeted something about him in that context and said, you know, wow, I guess all of us at 19 were just writing amazing things about people and yeah, you, know, yeah, you can't you even be, fill out a, 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 a birthday card coherently no, at, exactly. at that age. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's that double-edged sword of, of, of fame and infamy where, yeah. um, you know, he, he gets the, the, the benefits and he's, and he's got like 30 million believers thinking that he is the, a deity. But in your head, you've the got to think yeah, of course, somewhere yeah. that the, the, the reverence of Anne Frank and, and Well, I mean, I think you're allowed, I think you're allowed <laughs> to, to, um, to, uh, satirize and, and, uh, and tease people for, for doing stupid things. As long as you do, yeah. it's to do with, uh, you know, what he is, it's, it's, he said something right, silly, right, you know. Right, yeah. and, and I think people know deep down that he's not an evil person. It right. Wasn't like we were, we were saying having banned, yeah. you know, it's take him out, he's an anti semite right, He right. wasn't that, he was, he was being yeah. nice. So you know, he was like, actually being nice. He was but trying he, to it, be it, nice. He came out, it came out a, li a little bit crass. It's a lot nicer than what Ahmadinejad signed in the fucking book. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's one of those things where we punish each other for making mistakes, and it's really a weird thing because we all do it. We're all kind of opening ourselves up, and as soon as somebody trips up, we pounce on them. Well, well even yeah. the slightest things, spelling, grammar errors on Twitter I, are pounced upon. Well, I think it's that it, there is a, a society of schadenfreude now where we want people to do badly. If they're doing well, mm. we want people to do badly, which I've never understood, really. I've never understood jealousy of, of someone that... It doesn't affect you in the slightest. Right. I don't know what that is, why they want, you know, to bring you down. And uh, um, and I think uh, you know we we tease each other all the time. But if we were in a bar and someone else came along and insulted Jim, you'd go, "Whoa, whoa!" Yeah, he, what are you he's saying? A, he's he's our little gimp. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, if anyone's going to insult him, we are. And I think that's the difference. That it, there's a real affront to when when a when a journalist bothers to absolutely decimate your character for no yeah, reason. Yeah, you want to yeah. go. Why are you doing that? If not to, uh, you're 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 rallying the mob there. You yeah. don't know me. You don't. And I think that's what people make the mistake. People think they know you, and it, it's a difference between your character and reputation. Reputation yeah. is what strangers think of you, and it shouldn't matter. But it does. It gets to you. You know. Yeah. So I imagine. I imagine being Justin Bieber is hell. It's, it, Do you know what I mean? It must be. Uh, looking in from the outside, it's like, wow, you get the cars and the money, the girls, the this, the, like all that stuff. But he has that. So that's just there for him. I mean, he now there's only the, yeah. the shit part. Of course. I mean, it, that, that's it now, isn't it? What's, what's he going to do next? Where's it going to yeah, end? Yeah. It's like, it, it's like uh, you know, um, it, it, it it's as big as anyone's ever been with, with, with no foundation, really. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I sort of feel <laughs> no sorry kidding. for him, really. I don't, I don't yeah. mean no foundation, he's got mm. no talent. I mean, it, it happened too quickly. Yeah, yeah one really day, all of a sudden, there was, there was just explosions <clears throat> at the malls yeah. of girls yeah. going to see him. And it, I, don't, I don't think you should ever be held accountable for things you did or that happened to you when you're 14, 15, 16. Right. It's so unfair in this world. And to try you know, to hang on it, to that it's has got to be. being 50. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I can't imagine what it's like to ha have that sort of attention when you're 19. Jesus. To try to hang on to that uh, fame and, and um, recognition and adulation has to be unbelievable at that age, like knowing I, that you well, made it so early. I think that's so a mistake. Early. I think yeah. they try and hang on to the fame, which is the least important and worst bit of it. Mm -hmm. You think you've got to hang on to why you were famous. Yeah. If you're a songwriter, keep writing good songs. If you're, right, right. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I think that's what people, they get desperate. They mm. get addicted to the, to the upshot. 
yeah. of, of what they used to do, which is the fame thing, and, and it goes wrong, so they start doing celebrity rehab, you know. Oh, boy. They do it. There was a thing that celebrity spa, where people who used to be famous for ten minutes are now having enemas to get another ten <laughs> minutes on <laughs> And I want to go, you don't have to do this. No, no one's sitting at home going, I wish that bloke was on my telly again, <laughs> with, with a tube up his ass. No, you don't, just do, don't have to do it. Just do what you enjoy doing. If that makes you famous, so be oh it. If it God. doesn't, so be it. Yeah. Right. And you got to, uh, you know, not to quote the uh, the office again, but you got to, uh, what, what is it, if you want to enjoy the rainbows, you got to uh, live, sit through the rain or whatever? If you enjoy the rainbow, you got to put over the rain. Yeah, that's yeah. the way it is when you're performing. I mean, you're going to have your little down times. They'll just make you appreciate the, the better times. You know, and then so far, I feel that 23 years of downtime, <laughs> something great is about to happen. <laughs> Any moment. <laughs> yeah. No, you've, 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 oh, you've already turned your life around. I think once yeah. you're back Bounce your head in mediocrity long enough, you know, sooner or later you're going to break I'm, through. I'm slightly disappointed. Why? Well, because I, I, I used to come in here and I used to get this little huddled mass. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, look, you look like a little angry bee <laughs> who'd been given some sort of, like, you know, illegal drug. <laughs> and you were just, you know, and now you've, 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 you've turned your life around. It's a, you know, no, no, I'm not disappointed. No, it's I really good. am a phony, though. I walk out, Ricky, baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I was waiting for the day where I'd get a phone call and go, no, he's dead. <laughs> I go, oh, right. We don't know. There was stuff coming out of different offices. Yeah. He just <laughs> went a, a belt around his neck in a pornographic <laughs> magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently he was alone. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, that's yeah. how it's going to happen. But we I never, mean, what is that? What is auto... Autoerotic uh, asphyxiation. why do that? That's don't, crazy. I mean, the first time you do it, and you've got a, you're hanging there. Don't you get a glimpse of yourself in the wardrobe mirror and go, "What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> what I'm, d I'm yes. never gonna, what the f you know?" And uh, do they leave notes to their friends going, "Listen, Just I'm into nearly hanging myself." <laughs> 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 If you come around and find me with a tie around my neck, just take the tie off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. Say, say someone strangled me. Yeah, or pull my pants up. At least, <laughs> yeah, at up. least, yeah, take my hand, dead hand off my dick. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't really get that whole thing. No, I that's know crazy. Girl, I've known a couple of girls that want to be choked. That's what you told yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. This is too scary for me. <laughs> yeah, this is not, not, not to completion. Yeah. Not right. to fucking death. But like a, a, a hand on the throat or that. I don't understand it. Like I'm not that guy. I can't fucking play act like that. Like what happened to the passion? Where's the nice little rose <laughs> and the candlelit dinner? I don't need to fucking. Yeah, but do you, some cereal do you go shit for it or what? <laughs> well, I gotta lean a little. Uh, right. Lean a little. Lean a little, it's, a little it's, bit. It's, it's scary because you don't want to hurt somebody. When do somebody. they break that to you? Is that is that in the restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it would, well, it would be nice. Do you want dessert? <laughs> no, I want to be strangled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, no, I'll be sick. I, I can't have a cheesecake before you strangle me to near death. <laughs> it would but, be <laughs> nice to, to <laughs> have that and know that that was uh, going to be thrown in there. But no, it's usually in the middle of the act and it's a... You know, grab the hand and go, just, just, just yeah. squeeze. What do you mean, squeeze. usually? What, the, who are these girls? There's been what? a couple of instances. <laughs> There's been a I'm few. Oh, God! There, no. was, there was a girl that literally wanted me to hold one of my pistols to her head. Jesus. And, and, what and, do you mean your pistols? What, you've got a gun and you strangle girls? What is this? Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. We want to thank you for this. They've taken all the bad <laughs> shit. Fucking Ted Jim Norton, and they've injected <laughs> it in you. Sprinkled it's like one of those terrible 80s body swap movies. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, there was a girl who wanted me to fucking put her in my brown Volkswagen and, <laughs> and kill her in Florida. Really, Ted? No. <laughs> well, listen, it wasn't me. Jesus told me. Yeah. Jesus said this. Slush needs. <laughs> needs. Wow, well, the gun thing's fucked up. That, that scares me. That's, that's and obviously, I am a responsible gun owner. I would not do it because you know you don't do that. Maybe. It's crazy. Or no, I didn't. I swear. Did you get a toy gun? No, I just said that's nuts. That is I prefer crazy. a girl. I've been, I've been choked a few times, like lightly, and it's I can't take it too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh God, he's like a character. <laughs> <laughs> Chokey Go Lightly. Hello, my name's Chokey Go Lightly. <laughs> what the f- no, that's, this is that's weird. That's too fucked up for me, it man. It started off so well. It was like a normal interview for the first time. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I thought, right? I mean, last time we had chicks with dicks and, <laughs> and sending pictures. Oh, I forgot about that, yeah. Oh, who was here? We we were doing the Buck Angel uh, oh, Bailey J thing right, with Ricky right. Gervais. Sure, I forgot sure, about that. Sure. Yeah, okay. We oh, put man. you in a tough spot that day. <laughs> <laughs> You've never been in a situation where it was like a little like, wow, that's kind of weird sexually with a, a no, girl. No, go on. 
Yeah, yeah, with a girl. No, go on, go on. No? This is this is your show. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, what, what, just me? Yeah. Yeah, it's just me, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Anthony's coming and rabbled. Yeah. You've never had them say no, but you knew they meant yes? <laughs> <laughs> You've never put blackout curtains on your van window? No. <laughs> it just needs one person to, to agree. <laughs> oh, have you ever injected a girl with a maggot and watched the fly hatch out of her eye? Nothing <laughs> <laughs> makes you feel worse than when you're pulling that rolled up carpet out of the back of your van <laughs> in some meadow somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Are you, are you still doing uh, stand-up? Yeah, but I haven't done it for ages because I, I, you know, the, the pressure to, uh, um, to do a new show. I mean, in England, you can't really... Once I've committed it to uh, DVD or, mm. you know, or, uh, or on TV, you've got to start again. Yeah, right. brand new. Yeah. Um, I have been doing some stuff in Europe, though, where it hasn't been released on DVD, um, you know, and, that, and that's been great, and that's been sort of like the greatest hits. I felt like the Rolling Stones going out there. Right. Oh, cool. <laughs> They've seen it, but it's on YouTube, but you get a round of applause. Right on. It's like, it's like, wow, this is good. Hey, it's doing satisfaction. No, yeah, 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 but, you know, in, in, you know, the same in America, in England, in America, you know, if you're a high-profile comedian at all, You've got to do new stuff every time you go out on a tour. Even if they don't hate you, they they will. Ju it's hard to make them laugh twice at the same. At well, the same yeah, joke. I, I, it's different, isn't it? With Joe, you know, you, you can't con them. You've got to say it. I, I, if I did it again, I'd say it was the old show. And uh, but you know, also um, part of the fun of it is is doing a new show. Yeah. Uh, as much as 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 long as that takes, you know, it takes mm. a year to get a new show together. Right. Um, but then, you know, if you, if you can play it around the world, it, 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 it's not like it's a waste of time, you know. I think I undersold my first few shows. I, I, I did about 20 and I put them on DVD because I wanted to start a new thing. Right. But I milk it a bit more than that now. And sure. also because my profile's up around around the world now, I, I do want to sort of play it out more and, and, it, and it's fun. It's, 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 a, it's a nice experiment, you know, playing it. Yeah, because uh, the, the the thing I've learned is, with outside a language barrier, if they speak English, it's the same everywhere. Huh. Yeah, there's little everywhere, references it, you change, like a, a, a cultural reference a in cultural London. Reference, and stuff yeah, like yeah. That, the winner of Big Brother in England wouldn't be, you know, travel here. Right. You can either change the joke to make it, you know, uh, mm. or but. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what makes the biggest difference around the world is the day of the week and the venue. So really? the, the warmer, the warmer, the cozier, and nearer the weekend it is. Oh yeah, that's what makes the difference. It doesn't matter whether you play New York, London, out of town, Stockholm, anywhere. If you've got that comedy crowd, they are the same. Those People jokes go down weekends. the same. If you la if you put uh, you know laid it out on a on a on a sort of you know a sonic graphic layout, it would be the, exactly the same shape. <laughs> wow! Uh, uh, every joke, every gasp. Every bit of time, and it's the people are the same. People are the same wherever you go. Just remember that. <laughs> and here's the quality street. <laughs> Do you work out? Because again, when you when you have a high a profile, you know, like I've seen Chris wor uh, Rock work out material, obviously Louis, and, and you know, people have a certain expectation. Yeah. So it's almost ego deflating to go in and go, look, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shit the bed if I have to. <laughs> yeah, you've got to do that. You've got to. But but more than that, when your high profile is. You've got to put it out there. This is the first time you do it. This is a, this is a work in progress. It's right. five dollars, right? But journalists still come along and say it was a bit ropey, right? Oh, Jesus. And, and you go, and they know. You, of course, they know. They know the they, process. They, they know. You That's know, frustrating. It, it's really annoying. So, mm. and where do you do it? You know, because you, when you're going to play an arena. There's no point warming up in a bar. Mm. bar <laughs> it, it's pointless. It's right. a different yeah. vibe. So I I book a theatre, and I use other comedians to make the bill up make it really cheap and then gradually phase out other comedians till I till I'm doing an hour of oh, warm up wow. oh, no and kidding. then I can then I can go out That's smart. but it's but it's hard it is hard because you want to no you yeah. can't do anything in private anymore you know yeah yeah um, particularly around your house Jeez. yeah well <laughs> lock the doors and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put up the gates. I had, one woman, rip. I had one woman slap me in the. This was in, she was on top of me. It was it wasn't angrily, but she was being very dominant, and uh, and she slapped me so hard that my fucking head rang, and I was like, oh, it's too hard, and then she just mocked me. My fucking <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is some sort of weird confessional. Yeah, yeah. It's great. I love that. She was being torn. And then she mocked me. Oh, she did. She, this yeah, is great. Yeah, did she, you ask her to hit you? Well, we just kind of knew it was the vibe. You know what I mean? She was telling me, do you love mommy? Yeah, she was a fucking wild one. Wow. Yeah, she was a good Jeez. egg. Uh, that's weird. And I said I did. <laughs> Look, whatever, you know. I was uh, my, 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 only, uh, <laughs> my only regret bef before you cleaned up your act like you have is that you never went to prison. <laughs> that would have been a great book, wouldn't it? How oh, you survived wow. in prison. And we all know how I would have survived. Definitely. Yeah, the yeah, same yeah. way I make my living with my mouth. <laughs> 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 oh God! But no, I'm the same guy oh. you've always known. I, I really, I haven't changed. Like I, I've been sober since I was a, a very young age, so I didn't clean up. I just got a little bit thinner. But I've been the same kind of. Uh, Why did you lose the weight? I don't think we ever asked you. Oh, you're you're about you 20, just, 25 uh, pounds. Between 25 and 30. Yeah, I just had a moment of clarity. Oh, Kevin asked me. I, I just had a moment of clarity where I just got sick of the self hatred and being in the mirror. And it was like it was just. I'm still working on it, but I, it was just that fucking like that visceral like you are shit like that <laughs> feeling of, yeah. of in the mirror that hatred of of your own body. The embarrassment. Would you take your shirt off when you were with girls? I hated doing it, dude. I put on one time a, a, an acrylic, like a, a, a what, what, like a nylon shirt that was form fitting, and as I'm rolling it, it's bubbling over my tits. I'm like, this is why I don't own a shotgun. <laughs> this would be all over right now. I was rolling it down my fucking body after a shower when the steam is clinging to you. Uh, oh. <laughs> and now it's like you buy shirts. It's like you don't have to obsessively look for an XL that your shoulders will hang over and it will hide the tip. It's oh. like it's okay to buy a medium. That's yeah. like, I yeah. mean, you know, you lost well, a lot of weight, so you well, know. Also, it's it's the, the health thing as well. It's good. It's good thinking that. You know, I'm going to live a bit longer now. Right, right, right. You know, it's more eat more pizza and drink more beer. You know, <laughs> yeah. That's it. I, I haven't given up. I haven't dieted at all. I just w work out. I try and... Yeah. But you eat what you want to eat. I eat what I want to eat, and I, I, I think of it as fuel now. I think, right, I've done uh, uh, that cheesecake. That's 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 20 minutes on the treadmill. Right. That, that beer's uh, half a mile. That uh, oh, oh, okay. So, so, you know what I mean? I think, right, I, I, uh, I'll, um, I'll work out for... Sometimes I have to work out for an hour just to <laughs> know the cheesecake. Gonna, yeah, right exactly. Yeah. yeah, but no, I that's don't, an amazing I don't, way to look at it. And also, yeah. I'm not thin. I'm just thin. No, you I lost was, a lot of weight know? though. But I'm healthy, without yeah, without you know? uh, changing your diet, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, you know? no, I couldn't do that. I didn't want to give up. Wow. I didn't want to give up drink. You know, uh, six o'clock. I'm. Uh, I've worked out. I'm in my pajamas and um, I'm having a bottle of wine, watching TV, and, that, and yeah. that's you know that's that's sort of sacred. How and often do you? How often do you go to the gym? Like how often? Every day, because I do because I do the bottle of wine every day. <laughs> yeah, 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 and that's it, you know. But now I've tried to flip it. I used to think um, that uh, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to punish myself the next day. Now I flip that, so I think I've worked out today, so I'm going to reward myself tonight. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I've just, I've just done it. I've, I've changed the uh, cycle that's a little bit. Brilliant. And, yeah. So you just like, needed that one day of, of kind of catch up. Exactly. To, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not punishing <laughs> myself tomorrow. I'm rewarding myself for exactly. all today. There's something yeah. about just relaxing with a bottle of wine and it's just amazing. I, I'm addicted. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm so sort of nice. addicted to the. Um, you know, they say um, that about heroin addicts. They found out that so, most street heroin is less than four percent. Um, yeah. Heroin, yeah, uh, mm. and what the addiction is is the paraphernalia, the ritual that, that goes that, with it. Th yeah, they they found that the placebo effect worked nearly as well hmm. with some. Yeah, cause they, they just like the power. and that's for me. It's opening the bottle of wine and thinking I've I've been to work and now I'm gonna this relax. Is, it's the ritual yeah. of it. Exactly. This yeah. Big no, it's glass. great. It's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's, it's amazing. Great. It's funny. I read a book yeah. recently. I don't want to mention any names, but about a guy who was a heroin addict and yeah. a brilliant actor, and he was on methadone, and they said, and Tom Sizemore said that uh, he was they we him off methadone through his tang and it was like 70 days before they told him you're off the methadone they kept lowering his milligrams but he was so addicted to that ritual oh, right. i'm sure if i yeah. said that to him he'd go that's no, totally wrong no, that's <laughs> right. it couldn't happen like yeah, that but yeah. uh, it was it's you know what was, actor does, does he name the actor in the book no it was him, it was him. oh it was him, <laughs> it was him. I, I was just said, joking yeah, yeah, i was just yeah, joking yeah, okay. but it was it was tom and uh, it's amazing how this ritual like for me it's sex and I, 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 oh. I used to, uh, you know, when I used to cruise street prostitutes. <laughs> um, but this yeah, was, go, go on. This was before yeah, go the on. internet. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I had was the ritual, pain, wasn't it? Yeah, it was awful. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier. It was, it was like it was like fucking going to, to the mall. Like, now, now it's so much easier to go on eBay. But I would go to. Uh, they would always have to come second hand. <laughs> <laughs> One mental owner. <laughs> uh, they would have to come approach my car from the right side. The ritual of seeing them and pulling up and then approaching my passenger window. It was all a weird ritual that came with it that was much more Why important. Why do I just accept this from you? If someone came and sat next to me on a bus and started saying, can I tell you about when I used to cruise prostitutes, I'd get off. 
I'd leave. Oh, of course <laughs> you would. <I'd>... <laughs> <laughs> but with you, I just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, Jim. Tell us, tell us. Yeah, what yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah, yeah I guess because none of it hurts anybody, and it's all. It, it's not. I'm not ashamed of any of it. Uh, I mean, maybe moments of it, but it's it's not all. It's not terrible stuff, and it's stuff that we, a lot of people mm-hmm. do. I, I don't know why. I'm just I'm guessing. This is why I, I wouldn't be embarrassed to hear it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got a good book out of it. So. I think you could you could do your own life story. Well, I've I've uh, you know I've I've always been. I think if I'm going to attack other people and make fun of other people, I always try to tie in my own shit. Like when I was making yeah. fun of Mel Gibson or Tiger Woods, I tell the truth about myself because then it's like, yeah, I got the right to make fun of you, but this is me first. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm shitty too, and yeah, a lot of guys well, don't want to uh, do that. that. That's usually the worst crime with anyone who's pointing the finger is hypocrisy. Yeah, you know, that's why it's like these 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 you know evangelists that yeah, you know, yeah. talking about family values, but the, oh. it's, uh, nothing's further from the or truth. Or the yeah. people who legislate against gays and attorneys. Turns out, like how of satisfying is it to see well, one that's of them what, that's caught? What, I mean, I think out, outing, of course, is wrong, and, uh, but but yeah. you could see why they were getting frustrated. Yeah, they're going, well, you're you're stitching up our life, and we know you're gay. It must have been just nearly impossible not to blow the whistle on them. You know, yeah. Mm. And it's never it's never really like, wow, he was caught um, in a house having a fine dinner with another gentleman, uh, discussing things, no. and then and then going to a bed and having a wonderful love making session. Yeah. It's just the dirtiest bathroom. Room with yeah. a hole in the fucking stall wall, shoving his shit through there. <laughs> yeah. It's just always some degenerate sex that yeah. they get caught well, uh, well, uh, <laughs> this, this, um, uh, this story went round when I was a kid, um, w- which I assume is I m- must have some truth in it because it made the local paper. There was a guy, a 17 year old guy, who, who, who went to our school. We didn't know we were much younger, about 14, 15, and he'd got done for lewd behaviour in a in a in a, a toilet. And they, he, uh, there was this place they used to go down, um, and uh, you know the glory hole, mm. which I I, I I always wonder what those holes were in toilet <laughs> yeah. holes. I made the, how, why are they, these holes appearing right in toilet <laughs> cubicles? So he waited there for ages apparently, and um, sooner or later you know a dick came through the hole, <laughs> and he and he sucked it off. And when they went out the cubicle, it was his dad. <laughs> oh shit! Come on. Now that's that's the story. And Holy I'm, fuck! Yeah, and whether it's apocryphal wow. or not, the I Brady just... Bunch, the lost episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's funny. The, the, the Partridge Family would have been such a different show, wouldn't it? Oh, I just think, I just think of the kid going home after school, going, "All right, Dad, yep." Yeah, that's that's too much in it. That's just, that's, really... too, that's literally too much to imagine. Yeah, yeah. True. That'd yeah. be really bad if you saw the dad bringing the old drill up to the bathroom at home after that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. broke the ice. <laughs> but I, I, I tell you though, when you look at a hole like that in the wall, you got to respect somebody who's willing to put their dick. Through. There's no greater moment of faith. <laughs> yeah, you put your dick through a hole and you just. Your face is against you. Don't know who's on the other end. Exactly. Is that like right. Someone from Seven just puts a, <laughs> a hat pin through it, and then yeah. you're stuck there. Yeah. Oh a hat God. pin gives you a mobile you're phone, and go, you call there. your wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. Or an angry boot, yeah. Or you know, it's you, you, it's either going to be wonderful or terrible. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is. Well, I'm glad we touched on all this. It yeah, was, that was yeah. good. Oh, okay, it was lovely. Cool. It's, um, it's, it was just like my time on Charlie Rose. He's a great interviewer, right, he's Charlie great. Rose? He's brilliant. He, he yeah. really. I saw him interview Bloomberg oh. and. I forget what other mayor. It might have been Schwartz and they go together, but a couple of high-profile guys, and he's just so comfortable with anybody talking about anything. I, I think he's because he's so trustworthy. He's one of those people that that, that sensationalises. He does his, you know. I, I I do like those old journalists. I think right. people have given. I mean, journalism's given such a bad name in the last twenty years, yeah. and, and rightly so, because most people are they're scum now. They're bloggers. Mm. They're they're graffiti artists. Most journalists, you know, there's that you see it every day where um, everything's um. Tweet this if you agree with a comment, or after uh-huh. a blog, because, and they just want traffic. So they say the worst, most horrific, yeah. contentious things. And again, they don't care whether it's abuse or not. They keep their job because they've got all this traffic. They just like numbers. Internet yeah. traffic is everything now, right. mm-hmm. because they they look at it in terms of you know, it's just like column inches, but now um, it's it's monetized. Mm-hmm. They look at it now. They go, well, this is worth 
th- this article made the the paper ten thousand right. pounds with with hits and mm-hmm. eyes yeah, on. So the content adverts. doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just not. Amount, yeah, yeah. No, it's sheer. It's sheer just amount driving of traffic. Eyes on, eyes on, uh, on the. So page, what's yeah. going to get people to look in? Yeah. Some controversial stuff. Yeah. That, so it's the know. shock jocks now. The shock yeah. jocks that used to be only on radio and right. uh, are, are in are in big reputable papers but yeah. they're never held this is why I hate them so much is because they're never held accountable the way they expect entertainers or other people to be held accountable as far as apologies and saying you're sorry when they do they do more to uh, what, what's the word to, to damage people than, than comics do or than anybody course, else but they're never expected course, to say they're sorry they, they, they have a, a, an absolute um, position of privilege is that everyone believes everything they read yeah. mm-hmm. that's the terrible thing yeah that, which is uh, weird how many thing, times you can prove a paper lies <laughs> the next time you read it you believe it and you believe it you know i, I read stuff about myself and it's about 50 percent inaccurate it's never anything bad <laughs> you know they you know they don't go and saying i strangle women or <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's all it's all 50 percent inaccurate okay mm-hmm. and so am i to assume that everything i read is probably you have to. Yeah, yeah absolutely yes yeah. Absolutely. i've read things about my friends and i've gone to them Why'd you do that? And they went, <laughs> I didn't. And I go, oh, of course oh. you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an idiot. People believe everything they I read. I read it, yeah. And p- the papers know that. They know it. There was know? a time of journalistic integrity where you, I guess you could you know, believe what you were reading. Uh, and the journalist, uh, to his best knowledge, uh, he was writing the truth. Now, though, it's like, yeah, a blogger, he's got no ethical fucking gauge that he's got to no. live by. But it's much better in America. I mean, yeah. the, the, the interviews I do in America, they, they are, they ha- they've held on to that, you know, that semblance of integrity. And, mm. They're starting you know, they, to lose it. They though. really, they do try and, you know, uh, whereas in England there are some papers that really don't care. They know, they know yeah, they're yeah. lying, yeah. you know. Yeah. I found out, I did this thing where someone asked me about, um, oh, now you've got all this money, um, how do you avoid tax? I went, I don't avoid tax. I love paying tax. I came from a background where I was, you know, my, some of my family were on welfare. I went to a state school. I wouldn't be where I was. I'd probably be dead. I love paying tax. I think, I, I think everything I get is, is, is half mine. And, uh, I said, I hate tax, uh, tax exiles. You know, these people that just, you know, they, they, they rape their country and then move away so they don't have to pay tax. I hate them. So the headline was, Ricky Gervais slams tax, uh, tax exiles, such as... And oh, no, no. Da- <laughs> Jesus. I didn't say that. And then that got picked up right. to straight Ricky Gervais slams so-and-so. <laughs> and so I said, I didn't say that. And I, I called a lawyer and said, that's libelous, isn't it? He said, no, um, you can't sue over a headline if it's explained in the copy. <laughs> Who just did, someone that, else just that did that? Isn't that fucking terrible? Crazy. Isn't so, that terrible? Someone else just sued over a headline, though, because they said it was put there for everyone to see and get the, and they said people walking by it. I don't of course. Know. Uh, you know what? People assume in a headline. I, sure. I mean, I, I, I'm scared of the percentage of people that see a headline and don't read the copy. Don't read any but it of must it, right? Be, yeah. It must be big, you know. Huge. Of course and so, it is. And, I, you know, it's not a big deal, because I don't like that, but... For what, that person thinking, why is he mentioning me? What have I done yeah, to yeah. him? And, and, it's, and it's just not true. That's right. the point. I didn't mention them. <laughs> and they know that. But again, it looks like confrontation. People want to see fights. Yeah, they, yeah. They, that's that schadenfreude. You know, people watch reality shows. They don't want to see people sitting around getting on right. in Big Brother. They want to see a fight. Yep. They want to, you know, that's what they want. We're, do, we're aggressive. Right. We're action, aggressive the drama. species. Yeah. We want drama. Have you yeah. ever thought of, vi- I've thought of doing this too, videotaping your own interviews? Like, like, like when you're yes, doing... Yes, I pre- have, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I fantasize about um, following journalists home. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and now I think, but then, and then, but then I, then I realize that no one cares, actually. Yeah. You know, this, this, this journalist who's slagging you off or a blogger, he's getting $50. Is, that's you know true. what I mean? Yeah. He's a troll. Yeah, <laughs> and and uh, and we're, he's, he's not happy. But yeah. if they so, and, uh, the worst you. thing you can do is is actually engage them because then they've won. So it's just just swatting flies. Just ignore them. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're nothing. <laughs> but if they misquote you, because you have a big enough following and a powerful enough voice, if somebody misquotes you and out and out like something like that, which is a really an egregious lie, yeah, uh, and you're able to post the audio of it or the video, of course, say this person is lying. But here's the thing: so, uh, so, so there might be a, a snipey headline of me, right? And uh, uh, he's in a shitty little paper, and I've got four and a half million. I can retweet that and go, "This bloke's a liar." He will get right. so much shit. Yeah, but four million people have seen it that wouldn't. Right. So why am I giving him publicity? <laughs> That's right. true. Yeah. No, if if I don't retweet it, no one's read that shitty little mm-hmm. article. If I retweet it, they've all read it, and it he's won because yeah. he got 
he got traffic. He, got yeah, he just wants more eyes on his shit. Right? Do that with they Twitter's want you to engage. Yeah. People they, they want if you if, if you don't engage, no one's heard. When of them. people tweet and they have like one or two followers. It's useless to retweet them right. and bash them on it. Yeah. So I, I rather I just direct message them that uh, uh, their mother uh, does sexual favors of some way, shape, or form. <laughs> yeah. And that I will be blocking them, and then you're blocked. Then you them. Exactly. The block. Yeah. That's the blocking is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, being a troll is literally the weakest superpower you could have. <laughs> <laughs> you troll someone, you say they block you, they're gone. Yeah. They're virtual. They don't exist anymore. Right. It's literally the shittiest power you can have. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's shouting out of your own bathroom window when no one's around. Yeah, they you know they want attention. They're, yeah, you know just block them. So how pathetic am I though? Fantasizing through Ricky, like wouldn't it be great if you could have a predator drone and film everything and then follow the people home and prove <laughs> that you're right? No, everyone goes through that. Everyone goes through uh, that thing because it's the injustice of it. Yeah. And deep down, decent people hate injustice, and mm. that's what it is. It's injustice. You know, the people want to. Uh, uh, but again, it's 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 there. All these people that spend their life. Slagging off Madonna with vitriol, they want to be a friend. Yeah, of course. If Madonna called them up and said, "Listen, oh to my her, God, they'd be pals." They'd, a picture with her, yeah. they'd, yeah. honestly, they'd be they they want to be their friend, and they haven't got it. They've got no access. They've got no. They've uh, there's a great bit. Uh, my new favorite show um, is House of Cards on um, on Netflix. It's, oh, it's oh, Kevin Spacey's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm on episode six, which I watched in like two nights before I came. It's amazing. And there's one great bit in it that's sort of uh, analogous to this. There's, um, there's this sort of uh, homeless guy, and he's chained himself to the railings outside the Senate, and he's screaming and shouting, and, and Kevin Spacey comes out, and they go, don't go over there. And Kevin Spacey just goes up to him and goes, no one can hear you. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> and he just leaves the bloke chained there, and he just walks away. And that's, that's exactly how you should treat <laughs> yeah. these, these trolls and these bloggers and these people who want attention. They never get it. Don't give it to them. Suffocate them. Yeah, it's hard. Not literally, like, well, well no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Anthony. In a moment of passion, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> if I can't get my, call back. If I can't get my <laughs> pistol out and Jesus. ram that in the back of her head. Well, I think we should stop there before we say something. Yeah, yeah of course. course. Yeah, we learned a lot about yeah. Anthony today. That's for sure. We have oh. to, uh. Ricky, it's always a pleasure, my oh, guys. Yeah, I love having Ricky Properly on. promote. Uh, uh, yes. The great Ricky Gervais. Uh, YouTube.com, of course, Ricky Gervais, and uh, it's just Ricky Gervais on Twitter. But uh, his, uh, the Muppets movie, it is called uh, Muppets Again. It comes out March 21st of 2014. And, um, you know. I'll, get you, I'll get you advanced copies of Derek as well, which is coming to yes. Netflix. Oh, yes, please do. I, I'd love oh, you to great, see that. Man. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get him sent yeah. over to you. Yeah. And we yeah. didn't talk about Derek. How, long, how many seasons are you on with Derek? You've done one or two? Just one. Okay. Just one, six, first six. I'm right in the second series now. It's just been picked up again. But it hasn't even come out here or the rest of the world, which, no. is, which is happening. Happening soon, so Netflix is what you need. Netflix oh, is Netflix the, best. Is the future. Everyone man. has it. It's the Love future. It. It's the yeah. future, and so is YouTube. Yeah. Netflix and YouTube. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're really breaking up. Uh, the Muppets. <laughs> the Muppets. The, re the real future. <laughs> Twitter. Brilliant. Thank you, guys. Thanks Thank so you. much, Ricky. And in, yeah. in more good news, before we close, I will be at Magooby's Joke House in oh. Baltimore tomorrow and Saturday. Wow. Yeah. Lots of seats available. <laughs> Go and see him. <laughs> I'll tweet it. Tweet me a link. I'll tweet it. Thank I'll tell you, him Ricky. to go. All right. The great Ricky Gervais. Cheers. Yes. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See you right. Right. Tell him, Fred. <laughs> the virus. Serious XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show.